In the coming years, that walleye, crappie, or other small panfish you reel in may be Wyoming-raised. For over a year, the Wyoming Game and Fish Department has been experimenting with raising so-called cool and warm water fish species, beginning with walleye spawned from Buffalo Bill Reservoir near Cody, bringing those eggs to the Spee's hatchery outside of Casper where they were incubated and hatched, then raising the fish to stocking size. Guy Campbell is the department's fish culture supervisor. We put them in circular tanks inside a building and raise those fish all the way up until release. Typically with walleye, those fish are raised in earthen ponds, raised on natural forage. You harvest those fish and stock them. So we tried something that the folks in research have done at Iowa State University and Wisconsin Stevens Point. We adopted some of their techniques and we tried it in production and uh, we were actually quite successful this past year. Successful enough that the experiment was expanded to include other warm water species like bluegill, white and black crappie and green sunfish. The primary reasons for trying this is for game and fish to one day be self-reliant in meeting angler demand for these fish species and eliminate the potential for aquatic invasive species coming into the state in the loads of fish like walleye and catfish the department trades for with other states. Presently, Wyoming trades trout eggs and brood culls with other states like North Dakota, Oklahoma, and Arkansas for cool and warm water fish species ranging from walleye to catfish. These fish are stocked in waters where natural reproduction struggles or is limited. Spee's Hatchery Superintendent Lars Alsager says there really wasn't much in the way of expectations when the experiment began, but so far the results have been pretty encouraging. We had unbelievable success. You know, we saw su survival rates over 75% all the way through the entire trial, and that matches or is better than what, we're, what they're seeing even in a real lab setting. And so we've had really good success with the walleye program, We've brought in some black crappie, green sunfish, um, bluegill, just to see if we can get them converted over to an artificial diet of feed, and they've done exceptionally well. Reducing reliance on other states to supplement the state's warm water fisheries also allows game and fish to stock at times better suited for fish survival and reduces stress loss of the fish due to repeated handling when checking for aquatic invasive species. It also boosts angler opportunity and success although that last part is up to you. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.